Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover functions, which are FCs in TIA Portal Part 2. So I'm going to open up the main program block OB1. There's a function FC1 from a previous lesson that's being called in OB1. I'm going to add in a new block. I'm going to give the block a name, and it's going to be called Flashlight. Then I will select the function type, and the language is going to be ladder logic, and I'm going to select automatic for the block numbering. So I'm going to click on OK, and this will add in the flashlight function to my project tree. I'm going to expand the block interface for this function. The input section is for passing values into the function. The output section is for passing values out of the function. The in and out are for values that go in and come out. The temp section is for storing values that are only known while the block is being called. You can define local constants. The return is for returning a value for the function. You can pick a specific data type. If you do select void, that means that a value is not being returned by this function. Next, I will increase the zoom level so the ladder logic is a little bit easier to see. Then I'm going to insert in two normally open contacts and a coil instruction. This will be the code for flashing the lights. I will enter an input parameter in the input section. This will be called start flashing. And the data type will be Boolean. And then I will put in a comment here that says 0 equals off and 1 equals on. So 0, there's no flashing. 1 will start the flashing. Next, I will enter another input parameter that's going to be called the flash speed. You can pick different data types for your parameters. I'm going to use bool for this particular parameter. I will use bits from the clock byte for different flash rates. So I'm going to enter in a comment that indicates that I will be using clock byte bits for different flashing rates. Next, I will enter in an output parameter. This is going to be the light control. So this output will control whether I'm flashing the light or not. So I'm going to use a bool data type. And I'm just going to copy the comment from the start flashing element to the light control. To fill in the addresses for the ladder logic, I can just start typing the first few letters of a tag or local symbol. So when I type in the letter S, you can see that it gives me all of my global tags as well as the local symbol start flashing. I can also use the drag and drop method. So if I drag the flash speed from the input area down to my logic, you can see that come in. I can also drag the light control. Local symbols will have a pound sign in front of them, so you know that those symbols are coming from the local interface area. I am going to save my progress and then go down into the project tree and then open up OB1. Network 2 does not contain any code at this point, so I am going to drag the FC2, which is flashlight, onto Network 2. I will minimize Network 1, and then I will drag one more call of flashlight onto Network 3. Next, I'm going to start filling in the parameters. So I'll type the letter S, and I'll pick switch 1 for my start flashing command. I'll type the letter C, and I will select the clock 0.5 hertz. And for my light control, I will type the letter L and select light 1. Now I will fill in the parameters for the flashlight call that is on network 3. So I'll pick switch 2 for my start flashing command. This time I'll type the letter C, but I will pick the clock 1 hertz. And then for light control, I will pick light 2. Now I will save my progress and download my changes into the PLC. So this is going to compile the program. I will select load. Then I will start monitoring the logic in OB1. And I'm going to move over to the parameter switch 1. And then I will flip the physical switch on my PLC, and that will start the light flashing. Then I will turn switch 1 off. Now I will turn switch 2 on, and you can see light 2 is flashing. I will turn switch 2 off, and it is no longer flashing. I will set the call environment by right-clicking on FC2 and Network 2 and selecting Open and Monitor. Now I can monitor the call to flashlight on Network 2 and OB1. 
So I will turn switch one on, which will start the light control flashing. I will turn switch one off and the light control will stop flashing. Now I will go to OB1 and I would like to monitor the call on network three. I can change the call environment. So I'll open up flashlight and select change call environment. So I can pick which call I want to monitor. So I'll pick the one on network three and select OK. Now my call hierarchy is set to network three. So I will turn switch two on. That will start the light control flashing. I will turn switch two off and the light control will stop flashing. Next, I will select my PLC and go offline. And this concludes the lesson on functions part two.